the network. Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this is Inside the Network, where we show exclusive clips and artist sessions from inside of brandmannetwork.com. And this particular clip right here is a great session where Corey talks about something that's mysterious for a lot of artists. An artist asks him about LinkedIn, but not just you know regular LinkedIn. How do I build my profile? How do I network on LinkedIn and do it effectively? And I must say. Corey dropped some gems in this one, y'all. Check it out. It's the Matt way. On the book, digital book, I think it's uh, Master Music Networking Online, that one. Um, Sean, Sean was talking about uh, LinkedIn. So, like, when that, like, in my experiences using LinkedIn, like, it, like off, right off the bat, of course, it's meant for, like, professionals and shit. And they were talking about the part where, uh, there's like A and R's in the, in the search and, and like what would be like the best way to like set up a LinkedIn page for your personal brand? Like, would you have to make it look, um, I guess, corporate type stuff or like, do you make it like to the style of how like you'd have your Instagram or Twitter? No, you would definitely want it to be a lot more businessy. So, LinkedIn, you got to think about the type of people that are on LinkedIn. They don't, they don't care about your cool pictures. They don't care about, you know, so well, to an extent, like they want to see things like that, but it's, it's a lot more very similar to what I was talking about with the influencers. It's a lot more like um, bottom line kind of thing. Like, what are you doing on a professional level? Is your business well put together? Are you the type of person where, you know, um, well, we can do a lot of B2B and I, I feel pretty comfortable and have good faith in it. So it's just a matter of, I mean, from an artist standpoint, I would say um, how on Instagram you would kind of show off a lot more of like your personality, like you want your fans to see mm -hmm. on the back end or something like that. It would just be communicating information to these people, uh, posting information to let these people know you have like a solid understanding of like the business. Mm -hmm. So maybe doing like small case studies on certain things you've done to like build yourself out um, mm -hmm. or even down to uh kind of having it like portfolio style so the, the main thing you want to do is like optimizing your page off really you want a clean profile picture something professional you know, something clean it doesn't have to be like you in a suit and tie but you don't want it to be like you know like you posted up bottle in your hand something crazy yeah. like that. Something, yeah. that, something that if a something that if a you know um a chief a chief financial officer of Atlanta came across your profile he may not be the a&r but he knows the a&r at, at Atlanta, right but he will be more likely to communicate with you because you look like someone he wants to talk to. Um, and then, of course, you want any accolades, anything that, anything that makes you stand out. Um, you want to list it on your page, listing skills. Like, you want it to be listed the exact same way you would do it as if you were going for a job interview just for, like, a regular nine to five. You just want to tailor it towards, like, the kind of things that, like, people in the music industry would care about. Um, but a lot of that, to be honest with you, like, a lot of those guys, um, they're there to do business, right? LinkedIn is a place where business professionals come meet with each other to potentially talk about business stuff. We would, they, it, back to, we want to know how we can help each other make money. Um, so even just like reaching out to people, it's always good to have like examples. So like a portfolio in the sense, just of here, here are, here are my, you know, um, here are my three best marketing campaigns around myself. This is what I was able to generate. This is the type of attention I was able to generate. This is the numbers I was able to get, the viewership I was able to bring in. This is how much I was able to retain, how much money I was able to make off of it, all that stuff, and then package it neatly and like a proposal type thing. And then just people that when you come across people who um, you feel like can help you in some type of way, just use that to kick off the conversation. Because people on LinkedIn are usually pretty open to talking as long as you have something to talk about. It all comes down to how to tell you. You know, like, what, what, what's going to make you stand out from the thousand other artists that are reaching out to these professionals on LinkedIn is all, all, all the other thousand going to be reaching out saying, yo, how can you help me? What can you do for me? You're going to be reaching out to them with examples and what you can do for them. Like, look, man, if we work together, if we're able to do this, this is what I will be able to help you guys with. Able to bring, this is how I'll be able to bring value. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. so, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I hope that helps. I know you asked about setting up the page per se, but it's really no, it's really no like special way, man. Like the main thing, like I said, you gotta 
have is just what can you do on there for like your skill set and examples, man. That's what matters the most. Because people, people talk all day, you know, especially on the internet. People set up things all the time. When you have examples of work, when you're able to have proof of your work ethic and just the results that you generated from it, that speaks, you know, way louder than just I'm an artist, my music is lit, you know, or I can I'm a producer and my beats is lit. It's like okay. Well, prove it to me. What did you do to show that this was lit? Like, how can you show me that your stuff is lit? At that point, like, would you present like a EPK? <clears throat> um, EPK for those who ask for it. So that was probably be a lot more um, beneficial to like people on the press side and maybe even like promoters who are on there. Um, promoters on everyone's on LinkedIn. Anyone that makes has to fill out a W two or you no know, file taxes off of their music businesses on. Um, but it's I would say have an EPK on file. Um, like I said, just examples of just ways that you've been able to generate traffic for yourself, and then just like any accolades or anything like notable that has happened since you've been kind of doing what you're doing. Just have those tucked away. Well, have them on your profile, easy to view, just like one click, uh, like where they can get to it very easily. Um, and it just always like kind of have them stashed away and ready to send out so when you come across them, it like it could benefit for you like you know that's the kind of information they want to see but a lot of people like if you're able to get those conversations started um most people are going to ask us like do you have a website do you have an epk do you have um or do you have something where i can see like you know what you have going on it's the network corey nailed it on that one y'all like it's, it starts with the business mindset People are there to do business. They're there to do business, connecting with other business professionals to do business. So you have to approach them like a business professional, approaching them like, oh, uh, please go check out the link to my music and, and all that stuff on LinkedIn is really setting yourself back. In the same way you approach people differently when they're with their kids versus, you know, if they were just out by themselves or something like that. That's the same way you need to think about LinkedIn, right? You're taking a different approach here. One of the big tips that I help a lot of artists out with is just this, right? You can find A&Rs on LinkedIn. You can find managers on LinkedIn. You can find people who work at Spotify, Apple, all these good things on LinkedIn. However, using LinkedIn sometimes to just prospect and find people is a great thing when you also take what you find and just reach out to those people on social media. It's an extra step. I know it's a little bit harder, right? A little bit more dumb labor, but at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about being good at communicating in that business fashion, particularly if you aren't comfortable with that yet. A good thing to do is once again, find the people because when you find A&Rs and if you use some of those processes in Master Music Networking Online, I'll put a link to that in the description below if you use some of that stuff, right? You'll be able to find people that you never even knew existed but are able to help you. But if you aren't comfortable with actually speaking to those folks, right, you need to make sure you reach out to them, Google them, take their name and say whatever Mark Mathis Instagram, you know, you found Mark Mathis, the a &R at Apple on LinkedIn, and then you go just basically Mark Mathis Instagram, maybe even a &R or music or something like that in Google, and you'll probably find his Instagram or his Twitter or something. Super simple step. Now, when we talk about building a professional profile, being keen on results and just showing your streaming numbers or something like that, or uh, the, the name of your label, if you, if you signed yourself, right? Having some of that information that poises and positions you as a business professional, some of your brand partnerships, maybe some of the festivals that you performed at, right? This is almost like an EPK, but it's not your EPK. This is, this is your resume. Right. This is that's essentially what LinkedIn is. It's, it's the resume and what makes me credible. What says that I'm a business professional and shows that I'm established. Many people have different things. So if you don't feel like you have a lot and you aren't impressive, don't worry about that. Write what you have. All that stuff can be updated as time goes on. And once again, if you're that worried about it, you can just find the people on there and then, you know, reach out to them on LinkedIn. As a matter of fact, I have another video about certain prospecting that you can find um, on my channel. Type in Brand Man Sean LinkedIn. I'm sure that video will pop up 
And then other than that though, that's it. This is another episode of Inside the Network where we show you some artist sessions and other exclusive clips from brandmannetwork.com. If you're interested in talking with me, Corey, Res B, and just some of the other parts of the process, then check us out because we're here to help you develop your brand and build your fan base in a way that you receive mentorship along your process so you have infrastructure where you don't necessarily need a full-time marketing manager and you still get the impact. You still get the insight because you're able to deal with this same situation on a budget. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But of course, just last but not least, it's the network and this is Inside the Network. Let's go. It's the network. Ow.